All right, guys, so um, sorry if the audio is kind of shitty. I don't have a mic and it's a little windy out right now, but I just set up the blind. Um, took me a little longer. I'm not one to read instructions, so this is the first time I set it up, so it's just figuring it out. And so it's very, very quick, easy setup. Probably, now that I know how, maybe take me a minute at the most, you know? Um, it's just a quick pop-up blind, so you open it up, pops open. You get two poles that you'll set up inside, and then, um, as you can see, let's see here, down here, let's see, right there, you got these guy lines here that, for wind and stuff, and then you stake it in the ground. And um, now I'll take you on the inside here. And so this here is your back door. It also, if I lift it up here, as you can see, you can't see, straighten it up. You got a window. I'll, I'll bring this on the inside. But here, here we go. We'll go inside. So it's really small, but it's very nice. So here, you get three different, um, let me brighten this up. You get three different adjustments with this. Um, you can, here we go. There, so you get three different adjustments with this. You're blowing out on the outside, but, and they just clip in. There's these little clips up here. You just clip in. So I went with this one, it's this netting, so I can put this around. See right here, you can put this around your your lens, and uh, so and then you also get this. You can get a good open view. Um, let's see here, you get this low angle. So this one's a little higher, still pretty low. But then this one, if you want to shoot like ground level, as you can see, you can stick your lens through there, get nice and low. So you get one of those out of the front. Then on the side here, to open this up, you get a window, you can shoot out of this. There's a little hole here, or you can completely open the window up and you can shoot out of there. And so that's that set up and then you get one more on the outside, or on the right side here. And um, I'll shut this back for us. So we can get a view of this. So here's the back, as you can see it's pitch black right now, but there's a little inside window that I can open up. And so you get this entire view outside. And then you can you get a little slot here that you can shoot out of. If you want to photograph out of the back or you can take it down completely. So you got all all four sides covered. Um, obviously you want to keep your main shooting window up front though. So that way if you want your low angles, you do have that option. And then you actually just do have a little peephole here. So you don't have to open that up. And it's best if you keep that shut. That way you get a nice dark background and uh, the animal can't see you. And so, um, that's obviously preference. So, yeah. Um, that's, that's the Tragopan V plus, I think grouse blind is what they call it. And I <clears throat> decided to get a blind because the, um, the animals around here are a little more shy. They don't have as much human contact. And we live we live out in the countryside with a bunch of woodland acreage. So I got a lot of areas. I got three trail cameras out, and I've had a lot of deer, coyotes, and I had one fox, I think. And um, so I need a blind to hide myself, and also it kind of helps mask your scent a little bit. So. That's why I decided to go with this blind. I wanted this blind in particular because it's um, very light, small, and easy to move. So if I wanna jump to a bunch of different areas, I got this blind that will 
um, serve as that purpose. The other blind I'm going to show you when I get to my next spot and that's where I'm going to set that one up and that one as you will see is meant to be for um, like more comfort staying if I want to stay out overnight. I got a lot more coyote activity in that area as of now on cameras and deer and stuff and so I want to be able to maybe sleep there the way I'm out there for that early morning um, and later night possibilities without disturbing anything and I do have a coyote den actually right outside of this one right now and so we'll see if I get some shots out of this one maybe I'll switch them so that that's kind of why I got these two different ones one is meant to be more permanent where I can stay out overnight and um, enjoy nature that way because I really enjoyed that when I was in Africa sleeping in the bush camp and listening to all the animals even at night and stuff like that it was incredible so it just helps you uh, connect more with nature and so I'm gonna leave this spot right now and I'm gonna go to my next location and there we will set up the mono blind and um, yes so we'll head there right now and here we go all right guys so I just got done setting up the blind I didn't film it because um, it, it took a little bit because I had to figure it out um, this thing is awesome this thing is absolutely incredible uh, the reason I got this blind is so I could possibly sleep overnight in this if I got some good stuff on camera which I have had a bunch of deer and some coyotes kind of come through this um, meadow open area whatever you want to call it right behind me and so they've been active in the early or late hours and so if I photograph them I'm gonna have to stay out here till dark I don't want to get out of the blind if they're around and interrupt them so I figured I can just sleep out here and um, wake up in the morning and hopefully capture some more stuff and just enjoy my time out here and then I don't have to get up early to come out here I can just wake up and be ready nice thing about this blind here is um, all the extra features here so on that other one you got uh, one main like shooting front door that you can shoot a low angle out of I'll show you this thing here I'll flip you around and as you can see this thing here has two in the front so I customized them and we got two in the front and there's two down here one here one here and I'll take you on the inside and so we got a rain canopy over the top and then some guy lines. You can see this right here to hold it down in the wind. And this thing is just amazing. So it looks not so good right now because in the spring everything's dead, but it should blend in a little better in the fall. And so here's one of the side doors. You can come in, open here brighten this up a little bit and so yeah so here's the inside of the tent and there's more than enough room as I'll show you to lay down and so I can sleep in here and that's exactly what I want and so here are some of the features of this inside here is we got this what I really like is this little mesh netting and so you push this to the outside like this stick your camera through here and then you tighten this cord down on it so you can see out your your they can't look in and it's perfect and I got one over here too but as you can see there's a they come with these covers and so all you do to lift that is you got a cord up here, pull that tight, as you can see that lifts it, and then you just tighten that up. 
And so you can customize these insides very nice. Another thing is, as you can see, right below this canopy here, um, if you can see that, right here there's a nice mesh netting, so airflow um, can get out very nicely, and you're not going to get a buildup of condensation on the inside, and you won't get wet. So that there is very nice to have and so that's kind of the reason I went with this tent or photo blind I should say this here is the mono blind um, both of these come from Tragapan company I'm not I think it's based out of Europe to be honest and um, yeah very happy with the initial initial thoughts on it or initial look and excited I'm gonna set out tonight it will be my first night out and we'll update you guys um, as I go and we'll see how how we do in these if, what kind of photos we can get I haven't found a fox yet so my options right now are pretty much coyote we got some turkey and some white-tailed deer and they usually stay pretty consistent around here and so I can photograph that year round. Um, my goal this year is to actually get up north quite a bit and photograph some wolves. We got a lot of wolf population here in Minnesota and so that's my big goal starting this year and I want to make that an emphasis kind of because I get laid off in the winters from my construction job and we'll be going up north in the winters quite a bit to uh, track wolves and photograph them. Probably won't use these blinds. I have to have some kind of mountaineering tent or something like that to withstand the cold. And yeah. So there you have it. Mono blind from Tragopan is the big one. Um, you can sleep in it. It's perfect for that. And I got the Grouse V Plus blind for my um, light mobile blind. There's a V6 one too that's pretty much a small version of this mono blind I haven't used it it looks really nice and we'll see I guess how I like these and I'll let you guys know on that and that's all I got for you so this is my first video series um, I'm gonna try to keep doing some more of these I'm focusing a little more on wildlife this year and so follow along I'm hoping to bring you guys out into specifically this blind and maybe the other one and we'll see if I can do some vlogging and bring you guys along with for some behind the scenes footage. So stay tuned.